Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and the message could actually be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. They are currently filled, and I will let you guys know when the availability opens back up. And just FYI, if you guys jump over to my website and subscribe your email, then you'll get notifications. Like, I never use them. I don't send them to spam or anything, but I'll send you guys a notification so you get first dibs on when the slots open up okay and as always just wanted to say thank you for liking subscribing thank you for all the good karma donations all right my loves okay first card you have out you have the queen of pentacles so we've got possibly earth energy i want to stick with it that's you but you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus virgo or maybe a libra interesting so there you've got the justice card okay Okay, I feel like what's happening right now is, uh, I, this is pretty much clear. I mean, this could be legal stuff, but I just feel as though there's something in your finances that's going to be balancing out in a really positive way. And so, yeah, whatever has been out of balance, that's shifting. And I feel like, it, for some reason, this is popping out to me, but I feel like it has to do with the Mercury retrograde. There could have been some struggles that were happening, happening during that time, or it, it might not have been directly finances, but there just could have been something where you've been consistently having to just put your head down and continue forward. And there could have been some obstacles that were coming up or just some energies that were out of balance. And honestly, it was a reflection of something about your energy being out of balance, right? So Mercury retrograde and not only that, but all the other retrogrades going on probably was reflecting and just magnifying that energy big time. So if there were frustrations coming up or things not going very smoothly, that was why. Because there was maybe a situation or something coming up that you had to adjust to and there was a certain level of depth that was coming out. Like you had to pull down and grab a deeper level of strength or just determination. Because Queen of Pentacles, that's very consistent. Continuing to do something no matter what comes up, no matter what is out of balance. So there was something that you've been sticking to that's really good and positive. And I feel like there's a balancing of that energy or there's some type of payout that's coming in as kind of like a well done for you sticking through that. Because like I said, there could have been something where you just needed to adjust in your own energy and kind of relax into the situation. And once that happened, it's like, okay, everything started to calm down. You could be starting to get into some type of routine or... Yeah, Aquarius, look how freaking awesome. So you have, you have the Pilgrim and the Gem. Okay. And it's really similar, actually. That's not too far off from what I'm saying. So, this, the pilgrim is what I was talking about with some type of path. And it's, uh, what I kind of get the sense of, Aquarius, there's something that was going on not too long ago. I do keep getting the sense that it has something to do with Mercury retrograde. I have no idea why. Or it could have been something tied to the last few months, okay? Because the Pilgrim, that's not just a little day, little archetype thing. You're usually going through that process for a significant amount of time. So there was something about that you got out of balance or, you know, energetically you started to maybe fall a little bit and maybe not trust so much the situations around you that you were going to be able to stay stable. So what you maybe have had to do, because the Pilgrim, I always see that as like a, a, a kind of a spiritual path that you have to go on. If you guys have read Paulo Coelho's book, The Pilgrimage, it's such a good book. I I wish that one got as many alchemates as the alchemist. Like the alchemist is amazing. Don't get me wrong though. But yeah, it's kind of like you could have, and maybe that's what you're going through right now is going through some type of spiritual quest to pull out this, the gem. It could even be, 
this is tied to your self-worth you know seeing yourself for who you really are how you're the one that stands out and you shine above the rest aquarius and that is a typical Aquarius thing. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're really eccentric and crazy, and I love it. So there's something about you seeing, like, your uniqueness again. I think that that co got covered up for a while. Like, you maybe had lost sight of the happy things. There could have been someone that came into your life that was kind of like a Dementor or something. It's, it just sucked all of the life, the happiness, and the joy out of you. So you had to go back on this little bit of a quest to get your energy balanced again so that you could figure out this. So you could come to this again to see your uniqueness, your beauty, how cool you are. And there it is. There's the Knight of Pentacles. So it's the same exact freaking energy. Okay, and... Since you've got that Nine of Pentacles, that's, like I said, it's you. Something that you've had to stay really consistent with right now and keep pushing forward, stay patient. Um, Nine of Pentacles always crosses the finish line, always. Yeah, okay. And this is what I feel like was kind of happening, all right? Because you have the Four of Wands and the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer or, like I keep saying, this Earth sign. But what kind of happened with your energy, I feel at times, and this is what I think is so awesome. It's kind of like you're, you're not just jumping into things and being impulsive. You're taking things slow and steady. And so that's why I feel like maybe in the past, one thing that you had had to learn is not to be so like impulsive and just moving forward and just like trying to go towards your happiness or towards maybe even for some of you guys this is about a connection but now you're just sitting back and waiting and that's why I think what's really cool is this energy here you going from knight of pentacles to the queen of pentacles where you're just really balanced and grounded that's what's bringing some type of forward movement so for some of you guys, that could be actual travel or relocation. And what it is taking you to is maybe some type of connection. You could be coming together with someone or you could be uh, just that could be a new house or a new living location. But you're going to be celebrating when you land in this place. This is awesome. Let me see what other cards come out because this looks good so far. <laughs> well, there it is. There was something. This doesn't feel bad, though. I feel like it could be tied to this Four of Wands. There's a connection here, yeah? And it's more of your air energy. So, Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I do get the sense that this is going to be some communication that happens. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, I get the sense that there could be someone that's waiting on this communication to happen. And... I get the sense, Aquarius, that both of you are kind of a bit, like, waiting to defend yourselves. Because you see how both of them have masks on? That's what's happening. It, and the reason why I think there are masks is because this is, like, coming together for some type of clarity or communication or something along those lines. But there's not a revealing of the emotions. This is probably going to be a pretty, like... Um, emotionless conversation that you have with a particular person that's coming up. You guys are both preparing for it though. And I feel as though you're also kind of, you're waiting for this. I think ah, that's just what I keep wanting to say. You guys are both waiting for this connection or you're waiting to see who communicates first because both of you are sensing and feeling that it's coming, that it's either going to be like a running into each other. And I get the sense that this is, it's preparing. You're preparing for it in a way because I think that you're sensing that you just know, page of swords, you know when someone's on your mind or vice versa, you can just feel it. So I kind of get the sense that this person is kind of like uh, maybe communicating in the 5D before they actually come in in the 3D. So that's why you could be getting some type of signals or, you know, the entanglement is right there that you might be getting some type of like indicators or this person is just like, maybe they're always in your thoughts. 
but yeah, there's a coming together right here. This is usually celebration, but I kind of get the sense that it will be both. It's kind of like you guys will be glad to see each other. It's fascinating, but it's kind of like there's going to be some conversations that are just kind of dry and not really full of emotions. But I kind of get the sense that that's, it's masking what's truly underneath the surface. And with the gem there, I kind of get the sense that that's how this person looks at you, Aquarius. Like they look at you as some type of reward or just unique, you know, that they're like, this is, I think I did that for you guys not too long ago. There was something about that you're really unique to them or something. You're the most different person that they've come across to date. And so that's why that, that could be something about why you're still connected because this person is still like thinking about you and this connection in a whole, it's funny that those two came out together because this is slow, so slow moving. And then this is boom, like fast movement direction. And I think that's also what's going to be happening possibly. I'm going to, I'm going to see how this plays out in the extended because this I'm starting to get some other stuff that maybe there is going to be a traveling or someone's coming to travel to see you or I don't know. I'll dive into the extended. So if you guys want to join me over there, definitely feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.